Thank you again to everybody who leaves comments. And Padrego Hooligan 8363 says, Farage does not have an account with Coots now, and he won't ever have one again in the future. He's burned that bridge and many other bridges in his life. Uh, and he, uh, he says, whatever happens with Coots and its board or management, etc., will not recover his tre- credibility with the vast majority of the UK population. He bears grudges, but his will be a pyrrhic victory. However long he hangs on to his GB News gig. Um, he gulled some people into believing their accounts too could be closed, but even the hardish of thinking realise it won't affect them. I, I disagree. I think... Um, I think he's exposed a, a very interesting issue um, about the banks being out of control. It's something I've been going on about for a for, for a while now. Um, I feel uh, banking in the UK has got uh, um, seriously out of control, and the two big issues are that um, your bank is no longer trustworthy. Uh, it won't do what it says it will do. And um, and it doesn't take responsibility. So when you try and make a transaction, uh, you're constantly being asked absurd questions about uh, whether or not um, this is your transaction, do you know where the money is going to, and all this sort of stuff. By the time you actually get that transaction done, particularly if you're doing it online, you, you're so lost and confused. You're likely to make a mistake. And of course, I'm sure the banks are only too happy when you make a mistake, because it's your mistake, not their mistake. Uh, um, nobody is there really to help you. You go into a bank and you ask for assistance. Nine times out of ten in this country now, you're not going to get any. And um, I, I, I'm very pleased to have got out of HSBC. Um, my my local branch closed for quite a while and then it reopened. And there's no tellers. There's, there's nothing. It's it's extraordinary. Um, Everything is online and there's somebody waiting around to process you, to triage you um, and, uh, and and basically stands over you while you while you operate a computer. Um, but you as the customer, you're doing all the work. So what exactly is the point of having a bank? I, I don't understand it. I don't understand these um, monolith- monolithic organisations that don't t- seem to take responsibility and don't um act in in my interest and yet are constantly ringing up and asking why i paid such and such and why i paid that and um uh, and and then when i look back i think well actually i did try and pay i did try and send some money um uh, to um to this particular person and it didn't go through so why are you asking me why i paid because i i ended up having to pay in a different route um, in a different format. So it's extraordinary, and it's extraordinary how compliant we are when asked questions by our bank, because we still think that this is an organisation we trust. I think Farage has done a very good job in exposing the banks as the gutter of our society.